everybody. Rio here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, so today is the day in the next of my series of film reviews. <clears throat> I'm operating the Wayback Machine a little bit this time around, because this was a film I actually did a write-up for for Horror News a few years back, and I watched it again recently, and you don't know about this movie, I really need to tell you about it. So, we're going to take some time here and talk about uh, a film from Cryptic Pictures called Mortal Remains. <laughs> Disclosure, uh, I actually met uh, the uh, writers and directors of uh, a few years back at the Living Dead Weekend, uh, which uh, takes place at the Monroeville Mall uh, in upstate Pennsylvania. Those of you that don't know, of course, Monroeville Mall is where they filmed the George Romero classic Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> they do a convention there every year, cast reunions, stuff like that. It's an amazing time. Anyway, I was there promoting my film, and they were there promoting theirs. And so we... A bird is hitting my window. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, then. Thanks for your input. <clears throat> Through the course of the weekend, I spent a lot of time talking to them, and they seemed like a really bu cool bunch of guys. So we did a film exchange. I uh, traded them my low-budget opus for a copy of their film. And uh, I'm going to be honest, you guys. I think I got the better end of this deal. So this is a really interesting film, you guys. So this is a documentary. Um, and it's all set in and around the city of Baltimore, uh, which of course makes me very happy because, I mean, I know Baltimore, I've been there for years, so I know the place, right? Um, it's a whole documentary talking about a, uh, a rather legendary filmmaker, uh, in the independent industry, uh, by the name of Carl Atticus. You mentioned this guy's name, and the hard stuff starts <laughs> And now the reason that Carl Atticus is a legendary independent filmmaker was because he only made two films. Uh, one of which was called Mortal Remains. Uh, the other one was called Culture Shock. <clears throat> um, apparently his films were known for being very graphic and violent. Mortal Remains is extremely graphic with elements of torture, ritual sacrifice, murder, grave robbing, even cannibals. Never seen anything so realistic. Um, but he mysteriously disappeared in uh, 1973. Uh, no one really knew what happened to him. Whatever happened to Carl? I mean, they took a shotgun and blew his head off. Yeah, I read that he killed himself. I mean, I wouldn't put it past in the stages of death. Knowing Carl, you know, anything's possible. So this documentary uh, looks into uh, the history of Carl Atticus, uh, finding people that worked with him, former cast and crew, um, the ones that aren't missing. There's a lot of really shady stuff going on in the circle of the uh, life of Carl Atticus. And um, I wasn't particularly familiar with him myself. Um, I actually did, in fact, uh, go through looking up his name. There is a whole website that kind of talks all about him, has like some older pictures of him and stuff. There's a whole thing here. Look, I'll, I'll show you. See? Yeah. There's like a whole thing on him here. I meant to ask you one more thing. Have you ever heard of a guy named Carl Atticus, a filmmaker? <laughs> Carl Atticus. Oh, boy. So, the film uh, basically looks into his life, his disappearance, um, a lot of these strange things that went on around him. Um, let's face it, you know, the late 60s, early 70s were a weird time. And, uh, well, apparently, he was a weird guy. So, it's a fascinating look. We talk to historians and all kinds of, you know, people that would have known him. Um, there was like an old school friend at one point they interviewed. I mean, they, they did a lot of research uh, trying to find out about this guy and who he knew, what he was about. There's something going on with this guy in his films. Uh, some really fascinating sort of archival clips. Um, I say that because the actual films, the two films that were actually made by Carl Atticus actually no longer exist. Um, supposedly one of them was destroyed in a riot when it was screened um, at a theater down in Baltimore uh, back in the day, and the other one, I don't know that anybody's ever seen it. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of, like, this kind of archival footage that purports to be from these films. Mortal Remains was never seen, right? I mean, that was it. It was never shown all the way through. The film was shown, but it was shown one time. Now, because they talked to a lot of people in the Baltimore area, chances are I'm going to know a lot of them, right? We said this before, that it's inevitable I'm going to run into people I know 
or that I've worked with uh, in the industry. Um, this is no exception, actually. Um, <clears throat> one of the people that's actually involved in this film, which I thought was rather fascinating, <coughs> is um, Eduardo Sanchez. Now, if you don't know the name Eduardo Sanchez, Eduardo Sanchez would most likely be known to you for a little film called The Blair Witch Project. Right after Blair Witch, people were sending me all kinds of things. Somebody sent me 30 seconds of mortal remains. Okay, so some of you probably realize by now that I'm being completely facetious. Um, as far as I know, there actually is no Carl Atticus. <laughs> One of the interesting things, and this is, ne I've said this before about independent films, and this is never a deal breaker for me, okay? But you'll see like one name and like eight different credits where they did everything, you know, captain of the ship, chief bottle washer, like all the way down. Okay, so let me, let me give you the list on this one right now, okay? So Mark Ritchie and Christian Savarkis as follows, produced, wrote, directed, acted in cinematography and the special effects are all done by Christian Savarkis. <clears throat> Let me take a moment to talk to you about the special effects because I always like to talk about that. This is some good stuff in here, you guys. Um, the, uh, the recreations of the archival footage are really, really good. They look just like those like all faded out 35 millimeter clips that you see nowadays, right? When you get one of those unrestored VHS tapes somewhere, you know, of these old freaking movies that people forgot about, you know? Look at like an incredibly old copy of like Cannibal Holocaust, like an unrestored copy, and you know, it looks just like that. Anybody would be able to locate a part of that film. <laughs> just be a total gold mine. This is just one of those films that I kind of had to pull it up from the archive and give it another look and let you guys know about it. Um, if you have not seen this film, find it and watch it. It's really good. It is really good. Um, this is across the board really good. Um, as I said, with the involvement of, you know, Eduardo Sanchez and everything else, <clears throat> and it's, they, they really sell it. That's, that's where I'm going with this. It's, this works, you guys. This really, really works. No, nobody knows about Carl Atticus. They will when we're done. Rating system. I'm going to give Mortal Remains four film cans. Four film cans. Uh, this is a really good film. I think you guys should check it out. And, uh, okay, so I'll be back next week uh, with something different. Um, you know, if you guys want to, you know, there's a little subscribe button over here someplace. You guys can hit that, and uh, you'll get notifications for when my reviews and stuff go up. And uh, whatever other weirdness this channel happens to do, because I'm all over the map here. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, so, kids. I'll see you next time.